Bernina has a feature that I have loved for years. Ever since a computerized machine came out, it has a fancy name of temporary altered stitch memory. To this day, not all brands of machine have this feature. Now, to simplify it, if you are a mom, you know how nice it is that when you put something down and you leave the room, you come back, it is right where you left it. And that's what I'm gonna show you about some of the stitch alterations that you can make and how this is such a pleasure. We're talking about, let's say we want the stitch that we're working on, we're just gonna do it on the straight stitch. And today I need it to be just a little longer. So I'm gonna move it out to a three millimeter long. I can see I've changed it because the numbers turn yellow. Keep your eye on that number. Next, today I'm also working with this zigzag, but I've been working with it a little bit wider. Again, all of these are just examples and a little longer. I've got this dialed in just perfectly for the weight of thread I'm doing on the fabric I'm working on. Now, when I go back to a straight stitch, on most other machines, this has cleared back to the default setting. And that always is something I am kind of sad about because on the Bernina, it doesn't clear it out. Look, it's still at three. If I go back to that zigzag, it's still at the numbers I changed it to. Every single stitch could be adjusted, length, width, needle position, and even some of the functions in the information area, such as like a mirror image or other things. When you go to another stitch, you will find that it's right where you left it until you turn the machine off. So that's what I mean by temporary. Now, if you do wanna save it, like this stitch you always use, flipped over and lengthened out, you can go into the eye for information and save it. You are overriding the default setting of this machine. Let's just go ahead and do it so you can see what it is. So now when I turn this machine on and I pick this stitch, it will be that setting. I have changed it and you can go back and turn that off. I mean, you don't have to keep it forever. You just unsave it. That's what that means. And you notice everything kind of turns back to a normal color instead of the yellow numbers. So you can do this for like a day's worth of sewing, but if you you don't mind it kind of reverting back to normal when you turn the machine off, then perfect. I like it because I can jump between multiple stitches, dial them to what I like them to be, and then be able to move through them as I continue to sew that day. If you want to keep them, just go ahead and save them. And then tomorrow, those stitches will be right where you left them.